So today, my friends, my family, my fellow Gula gang, I'm going to be talking about something I kind of wanted to do for here a, a minute here. It has been on, on the back of my mind. I want to try and find the back. Well, I'm not going to get into the uh, the whole video. You can go watch this if you want. I'm down with this. This is cool. Only thing I'm trying to prove to every one of you sons of bitches that I tried to run around and tell you that he fucking sold, whether you want to believe it or not, this is fucking proof. This right here is 100% proof. If you still don't believe that after watching this, you're a fucking fool and you should just sell your entire portfolio and get the fuck out of here. Because you're going to hold this goddamn thing till there's absolutely nothing left and that's going to be your fault. Once again, not mad that, that he sold because honestly, like I said, going back now, actually looking from the beginning of the year, seeing them you know, being convicted in this stock and it running up to 20 something and them most likely holding, thinking it was going to go way, way higher, and then it getting shorted to fucking death. And then them sitting there with, you know, watching their profits dissipate. They're not going to let it happen a second time. Just not. They're going to take profits the second time. Um, still don't like the way they did it. And anyone that was in here after June, you don't fucking know what I'm talking about. And I get that. I understand you don't know why I started this venture and everything because you weren't here. And, you know, after that January period that they were in, uh, for me, it was March. But April and May, listening to these guys getting fucking just sucked into this fucking thing so hard. And then it runs up and they dip the fuck out. Didn't say nothing. Didn't prep nobody. Nothing. It was hold, hold, hold. I'm hold for you. Hold for me. Hold, hold, hold. Um, fuck that. That's horse shit. Someone should have been like, look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, <laughs> straight up. You know, this thing runs up. I'm not making the same fucking mistake I did in January. I'm gonna be taking some profits. I'm not gonna fucking be sitting here and then all of a sudden they short the shit out of this again and I lose my chance at making money. Whatever. The, I, the honesty would have been legitimate. And it would have given everyone at least a chance to go, okay, well, fuck it, you know, um, we'll all take half, whatever. We'll take half our shit, see what happens, and go from there so that we don't get fucked up. Because no one prepared anyone for that. Nobody fucking prepared anyone for that, for the downside, what could happen. And they had experienced it once before and never fucking talked about it. Never. So that's my issue with it. This I'm down with because this is some shit that I would do. This is what I, I got on comment boards and everything and was yelling at them about first time saying, look, you know, you I know you fucking sold. Um, I'm not saying you sold everything, but I know you took a huge fucking portion of it this time and you need to give back. You need to fucking do something. You need to do something to say thank you to these fucking people who made you rich, who you sucked into this thing without fucking, you know, being 100 percent honest with what you were going to do and what you plan to do. And no big deal, whatever. Again, I get it. I 100% get it because I'm in the same boat now. This shit runs up again. I'm not fucking holding on to everything. You kiss my fucking ass. I'm pulling what I need to pull to accomplish what I want to accomplish. And I will leave in, you know, whatever I think is feasible to leave in. And then see what happens. If it starts running up again, awesome. Yay, I'll get back in. At least I'll have a little piece in there to still catch some of that. But, you know, they had everyone all built up. Oh, you don't want to sell on the way up. You don't want to do that. You know, you want to wait until it peaks. And then on the way down is when you really want to sell. And that's when most people are really going to sell is on the way. Like this whole thing they did before June. Shit, y'all weren't fucking here for it. A lot of you, like, you just don't understand how much they twisted people's conviction to this and, and built that emotional attachment and then kind of had you thinking we were all on the same page with what we were doing, sticking it to these hedge funds, blah, 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 all that shit. Um, like I said, I get, I get the people that came in after June, why you're pissed, especially if you were an options trader that came in, like you didn't believe the hype and then you saw the hype and saw the truth to it and was like, oh, fuck me, I'm about to get some, some fucking tasty ass option plays off this bitch. And then... <laughs> You didn't know anything about what was really going on. You know anything about the, the fucked up shorting, the fucked up manipulation that's had taken place. Nothing compared to what you witnessed at the end of June and into July and all that shit. But still, weren't prepped for that. And I get that. I understand being fucking mad at that. I would be too. But 
this I'm okay with. This is this should have been done. These guys should have been doing it, and that they should have already came out. This should have already been a thing where they came out and said, "Look, guys, uh, you know we got fucked in January. Um, you know maybe we should have prepared you all better. We weren't sure what was going to happen. Blah blah blah. You know we had to take profits. Like what do you expect me to do? What do you expect me to do? Seriously." <laughs> like, and I, whatever people get mad or they don't get mad or whatever all i know is people respect honesty that's the one thing i've learned in my life over the years is that you may as well just be honest whatever the fucking case may be it's gonna save everybody a lot of trouble and people respect it even if they're mad for a minute even if they get upset for a minute everyone usually reverts to hey you know what at least they were fucking honest at least they were straight up about it um so, I'm just using this opportunity to show you guys, I'm not out here, like, spreading fucking fud or being an asshole or being fucking, you know, pissed off about this one, like, having some narrative where I, you know, I want AMC to fail and fuck this and fuck these guys and blah, blah, blah. That's not the case. My whole purpose was to prepare everybody to be like, hey, if you're listening to these guys, if you're still following these guys, I need you to take it from someone who got fucked by them, 100% screwed by them because they lied and built shit up. And yeah, awesome. Everything's trending back the way it is. Um, a lot of shit feels the same. It literally, like I said, it feels like I'm back in April and May. It almost feels inevitable that there's going to be another big move sometime sometime i mean i would expect it based on data based on call put average and all that bullshit um like it would be no later than the beginning of next year but i still i feel like there's going to be either a stay or step continually higher or uh, another fairly large move you know in the coming weeks um i mean it could be next week but i mean i feel like for sure in the coming weeks all of these filings and shit are going to have a lot to play with it we are, there's a whole new ball field everything is brand new here haven't played on this field yet um so we'll see we'll see what's going on but the point of this is just again you think that this kid didn't sell you're a goddamn fool you're a fool uh, and i mean i knew it immediately immediately i could see it i could see everything just from, from kicking it with him for months in live stream, seeing who he was, how he talked, how he is. Um, and then he disappeared because he felt guilty. And that was the first telltale sign. He just kind of faded into the background, didn't want to do live streams, didn't want to get called out, wasn't going to be able to address it because he is, he, dude's a very emotional person. He is, he's just an emotional dude. Um, and that that's what happens, you know, you you feel guilty, you dip out. You don't you don't do live streams anymore. You don't want to get caught. You don't want to get called out. You don't want to get in a confrontation. Um, but this isn't something that you do when you don't have disposable fucking money. Like this just is not something that you don't do. <laughs> and even though, yeah, it's only twenty five hundred dollars, um, you know, it, I, he's got a lot of people now behind him telling him what to do and coaching him and setting him up because he has a lot of money so that his money is going to continue to make money for the rest of his life it's the only the only reason you start preaching about wealth management is when you have that kind of wealth <laughs> and that that's it like you have to have that kind of wealth before you can start preaching and teaching about wealth management so Whatever. I'm just. Gl I'm glad to see he is at least doing something positive. This is cool. This is positive. Um, definitely, definitely should be giving back to his community. One hundred fucking percent should have been done that, and there shouldn't even be stipulations on it. There shouldn't be a. Oh, if it gets to a hundred k, this is what I'm gonna do. It shouldn't fucking matter. You should be divvying out thirty thousand dollars by the by the end of this project. I don't. I don't know how long. I don't know if he even says how long he's doing this for. I don't know. Either way, like by Christmas time, whatever he's got going on here, uh, he should pick 10, 12, whatever it is, 12 of his members randomly to send this fucking money to because he has it. And he has it because of them. Huge reason is because of them. But just wanted to bring that to people's attention. A, to, you know solidify my theory because it's not a fucking theory i know the kid sold but to give you another another look and another you know reason to believe that these guys cut and run 
and I swear to God, I am here to help you all. I am here. That's it, which is why a lot of my focus isn't even about fucking putting these guys down or, or calling them out on shit anymore because, you know, I got a hundred fucking subs now. That's plenty of people for me. That's more than a difference that I know I can make, and that's plenty for me to help. And hopefully you all can branch out and help other people too. That's, you know, like a fucking spider's web. That's how it is. I'm not greedy. Uh, I'm good with the amount of people I have, and I just want to be able to focus on what I know needs to be focused on, which isn't these guys anymore. You already know how I feel about them. You already know what the deal is. He's getting slightly a little bit. I've, and I've always been kind of nice with Trey. Every time everyone said shit, I, said, I hate talking bad about it. I feel like he is a nice dude and all that shit. Um, he's not a good liar. And if he has had the shit that's happened to him, happen to him, I feel for him. Because I've been through similar, <laughs> just ten times worse. <laughs> and I get it. It sucks. But still, um, I don't see anyone else doing this type of shit, really. Uh, not outside of, you know, maybe some sort of drawing or something just to get views and get likes and whatever. This is legitimate. This is cool. I'm down with this, but the point still remains dude sold. If you don't think that's true, again, sell your fucking portfolio because you're going to hold until there's nothing left to fucking hold. Like you're, you're going to lose everything, everything. If you cannot get a realistic mindset heading into this next fucking battle that we're heading into and you're going to be fucking holding when it, when you need to be getting rid of shit. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want anyone to do what the fuck I did and many other people did. I do not want anyone else to do that. When this bitch runs up again, especially if you're, you're a smaller person that doesn't, you know, have the money to day trade and shit, I promise you, you dipping out with your profits isn't going to fucking hurt anybody. It's not going to hurt anybody. There are whales in this shit. Whales. That when this goes up, if you don't fucking get out first, it's going to hurt you. Because they're going to cut and run. It's going to fucking happen. No one's going to miss this opportunity again. No one. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this shit is a, you know, like I said, a managed ordeal. To where it's going to be, you know, controlled and we go up and you can get out and then wait for, you know, the other people to fucking flush out. And then people buy back in and it runs back up and whatever. And they let enough people do that. Enough shorts get covered, whatever they have to in that little area. And if it's timed right, you can make a shitload of money in that time frame. Um, but I just want to make sure everyone is prepared. That's it. That's all I want. I don't want anyone fucking following any one of these guys. Because A, they're good. They're good. They don't even care about squeeze anymore. They got, you know, money in it, sure, for the just-in-case shit. But that is not their focal fucking point anymore. They're wealthy, especially this cat. Very, very wealthy now from this. Uh, he doesn't need it to fucking squeeze. He is set up, good to go. Promise you. So, let's just, uh, gotta, gotta branch off from that whole thing. Do, do our own thing. All, all of us that got fucked by that during that time frame have another opportunity coming up. It would seem, and I would imagine that is the case, and... Anyone following me, I'm not going to let you fucking walk into that shit blindly. <laughs> no fucking way. So, let's be smart about our investments. Let's, uh, you know, again, take it a day at a time. Um, I guess while I'm on here. Well, oh, well, shit, nice. All right, well, at least AMD tried to come back a little bit. And they're still fucking, did it get to 37? Not quite. Uh, now, like I said, I foresaw that happening. Some some returns coming in that I was hoping would push it up to 37, but not quite. That's all right. And it looks like they returned some more here. And then fucking short and return short. These fucking dudes are dumb. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, that's that. Um, I will give props to Trey for doing the right thing now in some sort of fashion. But that 30,000 or whatever it is, 35, whatever, split between 12 people better not be stipulated on the thing having to hit 100,000. Uh, if that motherfucker makes, you know, that even that, that's, I don't like that. I listened to the video and he's like, you know, I'm not taking a dime of this if this thing hits 100K. <clears throat> and I'm not saying that wasn't just a slip of, you know, just a mind slip where that's not what he meant. Um. I just feel like either way, especially if this hits fucking 60,000, then he at least needs to cut that shit. 
split the bulk majority between donating it and his people and then whatever with his taxes. Whatever this gets to needs to be divided like this. It, it better not just be stipulated on the 100000 Because I know this motherfucker got 30000 He could divvy out to them and 30000 He can give to fucking the American Heart Association. So We'll see. And this is the only issue I have with this, guys. The one issue I have is that this motherfucker like just started trading. Just started trading. So I don't like the wealth management bit he's going for. Uh, it feels like someone else is behind this, but I like the overall concept. Um, I just don't, you know, I don't know what, it, we'll see. I'm not giving the benefit of the doubt. I'm not giving the benefit of the doubt. We'll see what he does, how he trades. Um, or if this is going to be some algorithmic thing where he's just putting money into this fucking thing and a computer is making his trades, but he has, you know, he has manual control if need be, or he can pick the certain fucking stocks that he would like it to focus on and make money. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> I just don't think he is that savvy of an investor, especially considering the fact his entire channel and everything up until June 2nd was all AMC. Every fucking bit of it was AMC. Everything he had money in was AMC. And, you know, and now he's talking about, well, I don't want everyone, you know, after this thing happens to be piled into what I told everyone to pile into. <laughs> so, and I, I guess that's where he's been when he hasn't been making videos and live streams. He's been, you know, cramming decades of trading experience into some classes I guess he's been taking and he's you know a pro now so we'll see I'm not you know not gonna down not gonna dog him I'm okay with this shit it's whatever but still he sold if you if you don't think so I don't know what to fucking tell you I would imagine you're not subscribed to me but <laughs> if if you are and you think he's old, like, for real, you, you might as well unsubscribe because I'm probably going to be saying a lot more shit that's going to upset you by the time this shit's over. <laughs> so, no big deal. All right, well, let's get ready for tomorrow. Get a good nice sleep because we might get our ass kicked in the morning. It might hurt. So, you don't want to have some energy. It's very possible. I can't, I'm just, for real, be prepared for it. Every time, every time this community got super fucking excited back in April and May when some good shit was happening and even like this little bit of uh, whatever, we would get kicked in the fucking balls for the next day, sometimes two or three, <laughs> like just straight up. So we'll see. We'll see what's up. Just want to just want to put that out there. Have no expectations, guys. Just no big expectations. Day by fucking day. We don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring don't know how the market's going to react, we don't know what AMC is going to do, so it'll just be one big surprise when the bell rings, and whichever way it goes, eh, you know, eh, but I'm hoping that the way I'm tracking it is, uh, well, I really hope my theory about the day trade or the uh, dark pool shit is right, I do, I'm thinking about that for a long time, I haven't been able to have anyone help me try to look into it and find information on it. Had to watch a bunch of dumbass interviews with experts and read shit about like filings and manipulation from other people saying, well, this is what they do in there. Like there's no legitimate <laughs> sources to really know how exactly it works. But I will be super excited if the next two days this shit either just runs at the very beginning of the day or it's going to take a lot of shorting pressure to keep it from running. As long as that buying pressure or whatever is there, dude, I'm... I'm I may end up fucking, I don't even know. I'm not even going to say it. We'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves day, day, day at a time.